The 2015 Bearcats are putting the finishing touches on their offseason because things get real this Friday when they open up a weekend series at Mississippi State. I think the whole team's excited. Um, we've been looking forward to this day for months now, and I think when we get down there and start playing, things are going to start clicking, and we'll just be excited to be playing baseball. Yeah, you get to see another color jersey. That's a big thing. You know, you get to uh, kind of come together as a team. Instead of competing against each other, you know, we get to work together and try to beat somebody else. It's tough not to look ahead, but the Cats' first three weekend series are on the road as they crisscross the country, going from Mississippi to California, then back to North Carolina. But this team likes the fact that they're going to be tested early on. And it's, uh, it's really bond as a team. I mean, they're not short road trips, so we're going to be on planes, buses, whatever. It'll be good to bond. and. Um, I think it'll be a good start to our season. Yeah, it'll be a challenge, but that's the great part about college baseball is you get to see the entire country. You know, we go coast to coast, and it'll be a lot of fun to get to know the guys and spend a lot of time together. It's going to be difficult um, in a sense that the younger guys aren't used to the travel, but it's also going to give us some time to uh, come together on, as a team. You know, the bus trips are going to be great, um, spending time in the hotels, team meals. I think it's going to be good for team bonding and. I think we're really going to get some good competition, which will set us up um, nicely for conference play. Ryan Atkinson is the team's only senior on a roster full of freshmen and sophomores. Some may see this inexperience as a drawback, but Ryan sees it as a plus. All of this youthful excitement is the fuel this team will need to get through the long schedule. I mean, they bring lots and lots of energy to the team. I mean, there's a lot of them, and they're coming from all different aspects. and. With not having as many upperclassmen, it's going to be good for them because we're not, the upperclassmen aren't going to hold them back from being allowed to step up and be uh, very communicative and speaking up to, them, to what they see and being able to control the game. They've brought a ton of energy to the program. Um, I don't think they really know what they're getting themselves into uh, quite yet, but uh, I think we're all excited to play with them and see what they can do against another team. The plan for this team is simple. Stay focused on today, game by game, pitch by pitch. They will play hard and play smart all season long. We're projected last of the pack, so I mean, we're going to be coming out ready to play and we're going to have some eager to us and fight to us and we're going to want to succeed and we're going to want to be team. So, I mean, there's no question that our back's against the wall, but I mean, we're going to be ready and we're going to come out and play hard every game. I think you're going to see this team give maximum effort day in and day out. I think that's the one thing you'll see from us that won't change and uh, I think it's gonna yield some pretty good results for us. Um, I think it's scrappy. You know we're a young group, uh, not many upperclassmen, but I think we're gonna be scrappy. Uh, everybody wants to be here, everybody's hungry, and uh, most importantly everyone wants to win. Everyone's bought in. Bearcats on three! Bearcats on three! One, two, three! Bearcats!